Hello and welcome back to the Essex Allotment Farm. If you're new to my channel, my name's Alex. I'm on the Essex Allotment Farm today and I'm the founder of this uh, market garden where we grow organic vegetables and sell direct to end consumer in and around Essex. So this is going to be a really quick video. I'm going to be uh, explaining what I use some very small raised beds for on the farm and planting some horseradish, which I've never grown before. Um, I'm still coming, I'm still fairly new to uh, growing for market. I've only been doing it for three and a half-ish years now. And uh, the trap I fall into is that sometimes I've not grown things that I don't eat or like myself, which is fine because I eat most vegetables, but um, horseradish I don't particularly like. I've only ever really had it as horseradish sauce and uh, I just don't like the taste. I like hot food, but I don't like the taste. So for whatever reason, I've never grown it. That's about to change because I need to get better than that and grow things that other people like because I'm trying to run a business here. It's not an allotment. Um, so today I'm going to be, or this season, I'm going to be trialing uh, horseradish on the farm for the first time. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So right at the end of the farm, I have these raised beds that in the past I've used for herbs, for baby plants. Um, this one is looking particularly good. Um, it's got chives in it. And what I did was bought these, um, planted them in here with a view to them, getting them a little bit bigger and a bit thicker like they are now, and then splitting them and putting them in the main herb bed. So I use these beds as like nursery beds or as you can see here for the more invasive plants so i don't want mint which is a mess at the moment i need to do that in fact i'll do that today um i don't want mint growing everywhere and taking over um areas where it isn't contained and um this is where so this is where i grow my mint to keep it contained and so far it's been here three years it's worked really really well so what i am going to do today is take out some of these herbs um, that are in this end bed and I'm going to plant some horseradish because similar to mint it's super super invasive now I'm going to start pretty small I've only got uh, two four six eight of the um, roots that you plant to get the plant going so I'm going to probably put that across one or two of these beds I'm, I'm undecided yet um, but like I said it is super invasive uh, I want to try it first before I commit a larger area to it and that's what I tend to do with new crops and what I use these beds for and I've got five down here three behind me and three um, just over there and yeah I use them for trialing things and starting new crops and um, that's exactly what I'm going to do today so let's get cracking it's a really simple to start just get my coffee out of the way um, we need to clear the bed now this has got some parsley plants in it that are just starting to sort of shoot up again so I'm just going to prise them out and put them in uh, pots for now and we'll do something different with them later um, they might get moved to the main herb beds this season uh, and then I'm going to weed it because there's some weeds in there um, and yeah I will just show you me doing a little bit of this it's nothing groundbreaking here I'm just clearing the bed There we go, it's looking a lot better. There wasn't too many weeds in here, a bit of grass. Um, other than that, it's all good. So that's nice and clear. Um, as you can see, the level is sunk over the sort of last season. So I'm gonna put a nice thick layer of well-rotted manure. This is almost rotted enough to call it compost. Um, it's been uh, sitting for well over a year and it's a mixture of rabbit manure and bedding sort of colour on my camera changes a little bit um, during this, but it's quite dark um, despite what the camera is showing and there's lots of life in it. Um, lots of worm castings, there's thousands and thousands of worms in my compost heap, so yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Um, and then from that point, uh, I'm just gonna add a sprinkling of blood, fish and bone and um, chicken manure pellets. The video helped me there to remind me what I actually put in it, but not too much of those at all. So these are my horseradish roots. I've actually got six, not eight. So I'm gonna go for one bed. And I'll explain a little bit why. Um, I'm gonna squeeze these into one bed in a minute. But yeah, these are how they come. You can see so they've already started. Oh, I could help if I held it in the camera. But you can see they've already started rooting. I think they go in like that. 
uh, upright. Like I say, I've never grown this before and that's why they're going in the trial bed. Uh, forgive me at this point if I'm sounding really snotty. Um, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm just dipping holes into um, the bed that I've just prepared. Uh, mixing in the pellets that I've just laid down as I go. Uh, I didn't position the camera particularly well, so I've cut this a little bit. But I've dipped six holes and I've put the six roots um, equal spaced in this sort of one metre long uh, pallet collar. And I'm just putting them vertically with the roots at the bottom and the shoots at the top and um, covering them over just like you would plant anything. Uh, they're not, they should be about five inches below the surface, of, sorry, not five inches, five centimetres below the surface of the compost. Um, these are a little shallow, but I'm going to put a layer of finished compost on top to finish this bed off. we are that's that little job done a uh, couple of things i'll mention uh, the parsley that i took out in putting the little pots right at the beginning i'll uh, just pot those or leave them in pots with a bit of compost loose around them um, before i plant them in the main beds with the rest of the parsley um, they're just some cuttings that i took well over a, well over a year ago now and they kind of just were left there so they need to go with the rest of the herbs um, i haven't done anything with this bed for like 18 months that's why i've put lots of nutrients in there so uh, to recap, you saw well-rotted uh, rabbit manure and bedding, um, probably getting on for a year old. That was quite uh, damp. Then I put a sprinkling of chicken manure pellets, a sprinkling of bloodfish and bone, and then some of my most finished compost just to dress it. So it was quite a lot of nutrients, but the bed needed topping up anyway, so we used the manure to bulk that out. And uh, like I said, it's been probably two years since this is, this particular bed's had anything new in it. It's been pretty neglected, so um, that's why I decided to do that. <laughs> 